tweeted from space. So what, you had a computer and then you just tweet it, just like that? Yeah, it's actually kind of new thing. Uh, until, until two years ago, the astronauts, they can do only email to ground. And right now, we can do the net surfing, you know, going to the net and just do everything you want to see. So and you can Google? Yeah, we can Google, we can uh, Twitter, and we can do the YouTube. And, uh, but the YouTube was new because uh, uh, that comes with all the uh, digital photography's uh, advancement. Now mm -hmm. we can take pictures in the digital camera and upload them directly to say like Twitter. Mm -hmm. And before we have to send it down to Houston and they will process the image, then then uplink the image. So it's, uh, it's a combination of uh, internet technology and also digital uh, filming technology. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was lucky to, to become the first tweeter to send the image from space directly. So then, then we got a lot of uh, great response from all over the world. And the, most of them, they didn't know that the space station exists. They didn't even know that you can do the tweeting from space. So for lots of them, hey, is this real? Is this really, yeah. he's actually tweeting from space? And I, and I just you know, reply, hey, this is real. I'm, I'm, I'm in space station orbiting. Right now, I'm over like a uh, European continent. Right now, right now, I'm over Tokyo watching over you. And I can take <laughs> pictures and send it to you. So, so those kind of, uh, you know, the real time response is very interesting for me. I mean, really motivate me to keep tweeting. So, so if you guys are interested, uh, uh, follow astro underscore soichi. I follow you too. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> Koppunka. When you were in space and you look back to the Earth, uh -huh. what does it feel like? It's so small? Uh, it's, it's big actually. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very bright. It's amazingly bright and it's very dynamic. And as it rotates, it changes its shape, changes its color. It's really vivid. And uh, although you see Earth every day, uh, it looks different in every single moment because the Earth is alive. Because, so it's not, uh, it's not uh, material, it's the living organ. And it's, uh, that really fascinates me. The Earth keeps changing, giving us a different uh, view. And uh, then you will really, really, really appreciate uh, the meaning of uh, life in space. What's your view on commercial space flights? Commercial space flight is definitely coming and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing actually because uh, we do not need to use the government money to go to space anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the commercial help and the commercial interest, uh, we can have uh, maybe different uh, level of interest from the younger, maybe younger generation or maybe from the older generation. Younger generation may, be, may become interested in the flying to space more frequently. Mm. And older generation, who knows, they may be interested in uh, having a space hotel or space restaurant. <laughs> Without having a long duration of a training, they just want to go and enjoy the view. And, and that could definitely be the chance in the near future. Where would you like to go next? I would like to go, well, International Space Station is a fun place, for sure. So I don't mind going there for another six months, doing all the science. And uh, besides that, uh, my dream place is actually Moon. I like to go to Moon and build a small moon base and see the, or the, 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 the Earth going around. And uh, I think it's really a cool place to be in the future. How much does the Japanese government give importance to um, the Japan space exploration? Ah, in Japan in general. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, Japanese people get uh, the, the same level of excitement as we feel by going to space. Mm -hmm. And uh, the hopefully uh, the young kids in Japan are motivated to study science and technology by watching our activities. Uh, in the space station and hopefully all the, 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 the Asian countries uh, hopefully they feel the same way because we are part of Asian 
friends. So uh, by us going to a space station, uh, like kids in Thailand, hey, this, uh, you know, the Asian in space, uh, someday they want to become an astronaut to join us in the space activities. For students in Thailand, if you tell them, let's go to space or dream and become an astronaut, it might sound like a very far away dream. What mm -hmm. would you tell them? Okay, uh, when I was a uh, junior high school student or high school student, mm -hmm. there's no Japanese astronaut per se. I never think it's possible because uh, there's no Japanese who ever flown in space. Mm -hmm. But I still, I like to be an astronaut because it's a very fascinating professional career. So I keep on studying science, I keep on studying aerospace. And uh, I was just lucky that when I become an uh, adult, there is a chance for Japanese government to offer uh, a position uh, for astronaut. So that's why I'm here. So for younger generation, the young Thai Thailand kids, even even though there's no uh, Thai astronauts, uh, don't give up your dream because you could be the first Thai astronauts in the future. If you or your children enjoy mathematics and science, then becoming an astronaut is not a too far away dream. Just look at Soichi. Hopefully, one day Thailand will have its first astronaut. See you next week. สวัสดีค่ะ